Well, Donnie, again, I know a lot of runs tonight, but Joe Pistorius was, was pretty good for you tonight. Yeah, I mean, it has to start on the mound. I mean, anytime we win a game, it's because we do something on the mound, and he was great. It was a, a good start for us. Uh, Swint's called a good game. He's throwing three pitches now. He's he's got his changeup going and his breaking ball. And he's you know he's a young kid, and and uh, he keeps getting better, at, you know, every outing. And it was uh, good that he felt up the strike zone tonight. We needed it. You've been trying to get some consistency out of the lefties in the bullpen. You've given Bryce Jackson an opportunity now. The last couple of nights, talk about him a little bit. Yeah, you know, Bryce, Bryce. Uh, he hadn't pitched for a while until the last two appearances. He'd been on the shelf a little bit, had some shoulder soreness, and he's the type of guy that we think can be our, you know, a matchup against left-handers and right-handers because he's got the good change-up, so it was good to get him out there again. And, you know, you don't want to pitch yourself into a jam at 19 nothing or eight, whatever the score was, but you want to make sure that you're coming and throwing strikes and, and filling up the strike zone, and, uh, and I think he did that for the most part. Obviously, a lot of guys contributed offensively, but uh, I think for you, maybe seven different innings like you guys scored in tonight? Yeah, you know, we scored in the last two last night and seven out of eight tonight, so you score nine out of ten innings, you know, you're going to give yourself a, a chance to win, even if you don't put up crooked ones, even if you put up just singles during the game. So it was good to see you, you're putting nonstop pressure on people, and, and uh, it, what happens, too, is that when you don't, when you have those quick, quick innings on the offensive end, your pitcher doesn't get a chance to, you know, catch his breath. So I think we gave Joe some time in between innings to catch his breath and, and stay fresh. You made a change in the lineup tonight. Flip flop, Derek and Taylor, and they come up six hits combined tonight. Yeah, you know, I just I thought last night I didn't give Derek any protection. You know, we put, put Yale behind him, and Yale's young with not a lot of at bats. So obviously, they're gonna, you know, they're going to uh, gonna walk Derek to get to him. So that was definitely my mistake last night. Uh, you know, and three four, it's pretty interchangeable. You know, with Tommy now in the two hole, we we had we're hitting Tommy later in the lineup, and now I think we're pretty comfortable with Tommy in the two hole. So maybe having that left right combination after Tommy's a little bit better than the right left. So something to something to tinker with and and tonight looked like uh, it worked out a little bit uh, coach maybe lost in the offensive barrage out there was was uh, Derek Jones home run obviously tying the record uh, you know he talks a little bit about it he sidesteps it a little bit uh, how do you feel about it and, and what he's been able to do it's awesome I mean there's a 25 year old record and when kids play baseball what do they want to do they want to hit home runs and nobody well one guy Jeff Hooper until he hits his next one um, has hit more home runs than Derek Jones and I I hope the Cougar fans are paying attention, and I really don't care how cold it is. I'd like them to come out and watch him hit another one. You know, I mean, the, the guy has played his tail off his entire career. Uh, he's worked extremely hard. Um, he's He came back for his senior year for for us, for himself a little bit, you know, to get his degree, for the Cougar fans, to, to lead this club, and I couldn't be more proud of him. I, I You know, I've got 35 guys on my roster. I don't, I, I don't know any of them longer than I've known Derek. I've known Derek since he was 12 years old, and and uh, he won't talk about the record. That's not about him. He wants to win games. Down deep, he's proud of it. Um, he's earned it. He's worked his tail off for everything that he's um, achieved on the field. And I'm looking forward to to his next 30 games. And uh, obviously, you get up by a, a large margin. And sometimes in baseball, it's difficult to keep that focus. How proud are you guys that of your team that you were able to keep that focus? Yeah, there? on the offensive end, it was good. And then also um, Joe, too, because like you said, when the game gets to 10, 12, it, you feel good about winning the game, even though it's far from over. Um, you know, you, if you were here last Friday, it shows that. But um, it was good for our, our pitching to stay focused, Joe, to throw those 90 pitches. We knew we didn't care what the score was. We don't care tomorrow either with, with Clever out. He's throwing 90 pitches. We need to have our pitch count up on our starters. So it was good that his focus was good offensively, brought some guys in and out, and they put some good quality swings on it. So that was good to see. And you got to play – you got to play all nine innings. You got to play 27. You know, got to use the 27 outs you are given because what happens is when you go away from your plan and you go through some lulls, that can, that can you know go to the next day. And we, we're trying to play consistent baseball. We haven't played consistent baseball yet this year, so I sure don't want to play a good three innings and a bad six innings. So for the most part, we're pretty good tonight, and, and I'm proud of the club for that.